So good morning to everybody. On this up. Good morning to all of you. So I hope all of you are keeping safe. Coimbatore, I believe, is the district with the highest number of uh, number one in the state. Uh, number one in the state. So please take care. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, this is, country is going through a very, very grave situation. The COVID mismanagement by the central government has reached such a stage where now it is impossible for the Modi government to achieve the target of vaccinating all adult population by the end of the year. If that has to be achieved, the target, we need to vaccinate more than one crore a day till 31st of December. There are no vaccine supplies. In one day in the parliament, in the same day, in answers to three different questions, the government gave three different answers on what is the availability of vaccine. That means there is absolutely no concrete planning in terms of procuring vaccines. They are refusing to allow public sector undertakings who have capacity to produce vaccines from augmenting our supplies. Like there is a factory in Tamil Nadu. Yes. Which in single pet. Single, single pet. Kunur. Ah, Kunur. And despite your chief minister making these appeals to the center, they are just refusing. They are not procuring globally. They are not giving licenses to uh, you know global uh, known vaccines which are being used all over the world. So this COVID mismanagement is there actually now. It appears they are inviting the third wave. This will be very devastating for the people of India. It's highly irresponsible for them. And that is why we are saying immediately procure vaccines, augment production domestically. Whatever shortfall is there, procure globally. But speed up this vaccination to more than one crore a day. Now, this has come along with and the economic recession deepening. Now, the IMF has reduced India's growth rate projection from 12.5 to 9.5 for the coming year. And this has resulted in large-scale closure of our industries. All our major, eight major, what is called the major industries that are biggest employment generator and the MSMEs. In Coimbatore, you must be very familiar with your pump capital that, that you are, with all of them being closed. And lakhs and lakhs of people, in fact, joining on crores. Now, estimates are also going awry because you just can't count. The number of people are going back to the farms, not for work, but to survive. There's already surplus there of working people, but they're going back to the farms only to survive. No, this unemployment is leading to greater poverty, hunger, and on top of that is this price rise. I mean, this, this is criminal, what Modi government is doing, continuing to hike excise duties on petroleum products. And yesterday, the finance minister makes an atrocious statement. It's amazing how brazen they can be in telling the untruth. This government has already become famous globally as the no data government. It has no data on anything. Yesterday, the finance minister says that the increase in the prices of petrol, diesel and cooking gas is because the Modi government is paying back the dues, arrears, of the oil bonds taken by the UPA government. Now, these areas of the UPA government oil bonds, her own figures, are close to 1.56 lakh crores. In 2021, one financial year, financial year 21, the government made 3.71 lakh crores as revenue from these excise duties. In the last seven years, the Modi government made 15.6 lakh crores from these hikes in excise duties. And this is 1 lakh, 1 lakh 56,000 crores of these areas 
that is blamed for the rise in the price. So the actual reason is these hikes in excise duties. So CPM has been demanding withdraw these hikes completely. Only then overall inflation can be contained. The overall inflation rising, food prices, everything is because of this transportation cost. Now subsidies on gas cylinders is virtually off. It's completely uh, gone. So the great Ujwala program of Prime Minister, now he is launched. I would say amazing, I mean how brazen again they can be. Now he is launching Ujwala Yojana 2, Ujwala 2. Subsidies is withdrawn and Ujwala 2. What is the meaning of that? Just propaganda and big large scale advertisements. So the lives of the people are completely ruined. We are saying give direct cash transfer to every family that does not pay income tax of rupees 7,500 per month till the situation comes under control. And your food grains are rotting in your central godowns, FCI godowns. Distribute them, distribute food kits to everybody so that this hunger issue where even global indices have put us at a very, very dismal state. This is tackled. But there's just, I mean, they just don't listen to any of this. But they are continuously focusing on their own agenda. And that is sharpening communal polarization. No new laws. Earlier it was love jihad and cow protection. Now on population, on movement of cattle, anything to stoke communal passions between the religious minorities and the majority. The whole idea is to somehow consolidate the Hindutva communal vote bank as the UPA, uh, as UP elections come. And all this is based on a campaign of untruths. Now, people are seeing through all this and that is why Mr. Modi's ratings yesterday, one of the media houses has reported, has plummeted to the lowest of 24%. And this is creating a great degree of unrest amongst the people and anger. So, the CPIM had dis uh, has decided that in the month of September, we will conduct an all nationwide protest campaign and we will also appeal to all the other parties who are willing to come on these demands for people's welfare and to control the pandemic. We are also appealing to them to join. It's now been decided, we are just working out uh, I'm also it talks with all the other leaders of other political parties. On the 20th of this month, at least 20 parties, 20 parties, opposition parties, who agree on these demands will have an online meeting with the highest political leadership of these parties participating. Till now in the parliament, this coordination between the opposition parties has been very, very good this time. And uh, that is because the way they are treating the parliament. I mean, we have never seen, I mean, I have been in parliament for many, many years. I have mean, never seen.